hi guys welcome back to my channel happy new year <laughs> i don't know if i've said that before but yeah if i haven't said that happy new year so i'm starting up the year by going to see a friend of mine who's had a baby boy it's been over a month they've been back and i haven't we haven't gone to see them so we're definitely doing that today i got this beautiful gift box it has a few kitty things i hope they like so that's where we're off to now ibuka is getting ready for us to get going this year i've set like a few goals for myself which i won't be sharing <laughs> I'm just hoping this year is filled with like so much blessings and I achieve everything I set my mind to this year. I have a few big, big goals I'm trying to achieve and build. Um, I'm definitely working towards them and I am certain, I'm hopeful and prayerful that they will come to life and I will share more about that when I have concrete plans. Um, yeah, the kids are starting school shortly, shortly next week. And yeah, that should be exciting to get them back off to school and focus on what I am supposed to do. And this year I'm starting my fitness journey again. I haven't been to the gym in over two years. Can you imagine that? That is actually terrible. But yeah, I'm getting back into that this year. Um, yeah, so let's get going. I think Ibuka is coming down now. So let's get going and yeah, if I can share bits in the house, I will. If not, <laughs> we'll see. Ah, and so for, for you guys, I've been asking. No, I don't have, I've never, I don't have veneers. I don't have beautiful teeth. God just told me, babe, you, when you're casting, you're going to have beautiful teeth and god gave me beautiful teeth so yeah i've never had braces i don't have veneers obviously they don't look like veneers i don't know why people are asking me if I, if I have veneers i've never worn braces i just naturally have nice teeth so and i just do regular cleaning brushing washing scaling and all those things so yeah that's I'm, i don't know this year i don't know why i'm sounding tired already it's just third of december but let's be going sure let's see Who I came to visit, he's watching my my channel, my YouTube channel, and he's making me his famous frappuccino. That's what you're making, right? Yeah. So I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with coffee. Yeah. Best, best coffee. So let's see. Let's let's go in and blend it. Okay. Right. Coffee whipped cream and a little bit of um syrup salted caramel syrup so i typically measure it so that it's not overwhelming um so i do like a teaspoon <laughs> chef obi <laughs> Look, people come from across the nation okay come on you come from across the nation for this stuff um so typically I brew the coffee and then cool it in the fridge so that it's nice and cool. By the time we put the ice, I've washed my hands, so very good. Um, oh, also, when I do the coffee, I add a little bit of sugar in the beginning so that it's nice and warm when it's, mm. um, so that it mixes well. All right, so. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. So I prefer this to milk. Okay. Why though? It just gives it more texture. Makes it thicker. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not trying to put, I don't even want to say the name of the brand, but yeah, I'm not trying to put that milk in it. So. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. And we blend. Oh, why is the, this thing floating? It doesn't matter. Mm, I don't even like putting that in. Yeah. Time for taste test. Properly drying the okay. 
The longer the sticks dry and age, mm. the better they perform. And the no buns. Yeah, so this is the first time my kids are coming to the bank. They've never been to the bank before, right? Yeah. They have never been to the bank. Yeah, so let's see. But I I thought that you just they just give you money, but I didn't know that oh, they you also transform. Money. Yes, you can transfer money to another person's account. You don't you don't just get cash. So let's go. It's yeah. always a first time, girl. Come with us. Pimple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How was your first banking experience? Good. Good. You didn't do anything. You're just dancing at the banking hall. Oh, well, there was like a door, like. I thought like I think the most exciting thing for them was the door. You know the door you the open and close door, I don't know. I, I, at first when we wanted to enter, it, I thought it was the an elevator. elevator. But then it just opened from the back. We were just looking at the front, but then I didn't know that the back was opening, so then we just turned the before huh. <laughs> So where are we now? We are the gas, gas station. station. Yes, I need to fill up my tank. And with the increasing cost of fuel these days, it's giving me high BP. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to Avano to buy our school stuff. Yeah, we're going to buy their school supply from Avano because school starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, are we excited? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a liar, All right. I'm not excited. It's quite a queue here so let's let's see so you guys need um, pencil crayons ruby needs crayons i need pencil crayons i need glue you don't need that it's the stick glue you need i need glue you need this one this one put in the bag bag so two four. this this is two four also just one, one each So Ibuka went for two days to Ghana for a work trip and came back to the cutest um, note from Joel. Welcome back, Daddy. I missed you so much. You're the best. You're mystic. You're the best dad, Daddy ever. I love you. I promise I'll always get good grades in my studies. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, Joel is like the best human being ever. So daddy is rewarding her with sushi, her favorite food. <laughs> so who is back with her from school? Hmm. I know hugs for me. Exactly, people didn't even say good up to me. Well, hello. Ruby wanted pizza. Joel wanted sushi because her favorite food, I guess, right? <laughs> this is for daddy, I'm sure, because he has mango, right? He likes anything with mango. And this is mine, my favorite sushi. The one with eel. Anything with eel, I'm like super obsessed. Yeah. Yes. You like this soy sauce? She doesn't, she doesn't eat it with soy sauce. Well, I would try it. You don't want some pizza at all? Ruby, you don't want yeah. um, sushi? No, I don't want Can we have out of your um, pizza? Okay. Oh, I think I did it. Look, I, I think I did it. Well, let's see, see if you can pick it up. A little bit. See? Okay. So you want to have all the black around it? Yeah. California does not have that black around it. Mm. That's not, I think that's what she wanted, but she didn't know the name. Oh, okay. I didn't know the name of that one. California roll? Mm. Yeah. One that has like black. I don't know. I'm not sure which one. But you like this one too. Ruby wants one. Let me put one for you. Wants sushi. 
I can't. I'm not a guy. I'm oh, you're using okay. chopsticks. Ruby, come on, take your plates. Happy New Year, Happy You want to also use chopsticks, Ruby? <laughs> My face. So good. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Why are you so busy? Guys, no crying. Promise. Yeah. Whoever loses, like, it's fine. You're both winners. So I'm on your mark. My dad's car. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> I'm back. Oh. You didn't say that. Change <laughs> her. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you remember when you? That was like last year, two years ago. When when you cried or you lost, she was like, "You go." But now you're a big girl, you won't cry, right? And he's well. turning five this month. I mean, I don't know about this month. She's turning this five year. in March. 31st. Yes, yeah, so we're January again. Right and we're counting down to her birthday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's our birthday theme? Let's let's not announce it. It will be a Party. surprise. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how that goes. I will get it. Happen. Like you literally change I'll, your mind every five minutes. Again. Do it again. The race. Well, I'm not. Okay, I will. But what having Ruby's birthday party in the hall in case it rains, or if it's sunny or or not. So we're let's having it. Okay, okay. Let's do it again. Now this time, I'm not coming back. Just count it out. One, two, three. Ah, it's too far. Okay, she's moving too far. No, yeah. it's too far. She said it's too far. Moving forward. It's too far. She wants to jump on it. Okay, why do you jump on it? Oh, one, two, three, go. Only one person. Only Joel. Only Joel. One, two, three, go. <laughs> so guys, this video has been, I've just been recording bits and pieces of my, pieces of my week. So I guess it's a weekly vlog. So I'm heading out with my friends this evening. We're going to the seaside space in Lagoon, that place that they do seafood. Anyway, I've been craving seafood for a while, so I'm headed there. Yeah, this is my real hair. I have, my hair is quite full. Um, and I'm definitely not, what's it called, packing. Um, what's it called? Putting a wig over this because I don't think a wig will sit flat on this full hair right now. Um, so I'm just going to pack it in a messy bun and call it a day. So yeah, I have a bald spot here. I don't know if you guys have any suggestion as to how I can treat it. Let me know. But um, yeah, I'm going to do a quick makeup session and give you guys a quick story on what happened recently. So it's going to be a very simple makeup because it's just like a quick, quick dinner, early dinner. Anyway, so a robber came to my house. He came in through the neighbor's fence. Can you imagine that? There are still petty robbers and this is lucky. Obviously there, I don't think this idea of cutting the gates out really makes sense because now we have this situation. Um, they came in through the neighbor's compound and jumped into our, co our compound late at night. Obviously the security was asleep, the driver was asleep and thankfully our doors are quite um, intense, so there's no way they could have even gotten into the main house. But they went into my driver's room and stole his phone and his slippers and stuff. 
and literally jumped back into the next compound and walked out. It was in the morning when he wanted to check the time to prep for school run, he realized that his phone wasn't there. So we reviewed the CCTV and found out that's how he came. And thankfully, as we were doing that, we saw, we heard like a bell ring and we saw like a bunch of mopos, they came in. They had caught him because he actually tried to go to another house to rob them. But as soon as he jumped into the compound, they, they had mopos and they beat him up <laughs> and basically kept him till morning and brought him here. He confessed that he was here earlier. So that was actually quite an interesting, interesting one. I mean, this gay thing, I was like, I used to be annoyed by this or every street in Lekki having gates and you have need an access code, all that boat. I used to be pissed about it, but I mean, I don't think it was a smart idea to cut it off because we're now open to robbers. The insecurity is still at a maximum. I feel like there should have been a time limit. Say you have to open your gates from say 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Then after that, you need access codes to access the estate or your street or whatever it is just for security reasons. But yeah, we're in a hot mess right now. So I'm just hoping people can be alert and keep safe because if this happened here, I don't know if, I mean, I guess it will be happening more often than we plan. Why do we always do our eyes like this? Or mouth like this whenever we're putting makeup. It's quite funny. I'm just doing it like very simple. I don't want like heavy makeup. Like no makeup, makeup look, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm heading, I already told you guys I'm heading to an early dinner with my friend. So let's see how that goes. But I'm thinking of doing like a QA. I know I'm not. I don't know how I'm going to do that since I'm not like a talker. I feel like I have to learn to talk more. So I'll probably plan to have like a Q&A for my next video because it's high time I properly like introduce myself. Um, I guess most of you have some questions you want to ask me how I do certain things. Please comment down below if you have questions for me, because my next video is going to be a Q and A, you know? Um, yeah, let's make it fun. Please, light questions. Don't ask me any questions. I'm not a deep babe. Don't be asking me for life. Well, you can ask me anything. If I don't want to answer, I won't answer. That's just it. Um, but yeah, ask, and I also put on my Insta story for people to ask, so it will be a lot more since we're not a lot here for now. <laughs> so please comment down below tell me or put your questions down below for any anything you'd like to know anything i'll pick and choose i want to answer obviously um yeah let's see keep it fun though i don't want any cringe questions and i'm also begging my husband to do a q a a husband they call it husband tag right session with me i feel like at this point i'm going to have to bribe him massively because he hates things like that. He hates, he hates any public display. No, not any public display. He just hates things like that. People asking him about your relationship, but like he's super private. So ignore my bed. I don't know why this place is lifting off. So yeah, that will probably be my next video. And if I'm able to bribe my husband, Ebuka for a proper Q&A with just the both of us, that will be a win for me <laughs> because he has sworn never to do that. But I'll work my magic, don't worry. Don't, don't be scared. <laughs> I'll work my magic. Um, guys, this is my absolute favorite lip liner. It's by Mark and it's chestnut. It literally works. It's perfect for me all the time. Like, I love it so much. Hey, how will I fix my bold spots here? Who's kind of wild? I'll be this. Anyway, 
how you like it and this is my ruby Woo. another lipstick i really really like or lip lip stain whatever you guys call it is dose of colors oh my god I've, i discovered this like 10 years ago and i haven't stopped like i've probably had this for like three years it's been with me for as long as i remember for as long as i remember i love i literally have every single not every single shade but a bunch of them a whole lot of them <laughs> i can't i love them so much I use them till they are dry. See, this one is even the the puff under has even left my. But I still use it. <laughs> Babe, just gonna buy another one. I just need to buy another one. Anyway, time to do my eyes. I'll do that off camera because I don't want to be doing. So this was like a. Quick, <laughs> quick, simple makeup, five minutes, and I literally didn't do much. Just lipstick, eyeliner, blush, a little bit of eye pencil to fill in my space. I did, I did my micro bleeding like four years ago, but it still looks nice. Um, I should be refilling sometime in the year. So yeah, let me. I'm ready. So let me head out to dinner. Let's go. Oh, and I wore this for school run. That's what I'm going to wear because it's nothing fancy. Oh, something pissed me off today. I don't know. I feel like we as parents, we need to do better. We need to teach our kids better. I say better. Ah. We need to teach our kids to be better, to be kind. Like kids need to learn to be kind, full stop, kinder. Like it's 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 actually crazy how even kids you find a six year old that's already learning to be a bully. Like where do you get that idea from? Like are you being bullied at home? Is your like I don't know the thought process between what thought process comes into a six year old to be a bully or a seven year old to be a bully? Like how do you get there at seven, girl? Like. I've told my kids, if anybody is funny with you, just ask them, can your mommy fight? Because my mommy can fight. And my mommy will beat your mommy. Because I can't beat the child, so me and your mommy will fight. Like, it's just, like, thankfully, nobody has bu bullied my daughters that I know of. And I'm sure, I'm positive my kids can handle themselves. But when I hear of certain stories, I'm just like, hey, good. Like, I just want to fight. I just want to rack with their parents. Like, can't you teach your child? Okay, bad enough, you don't have manners, but do better with your own child now. Like, anyway, I'm just, don't mind, I'm just rambling. Let me go for my dinner and cool my, my nerves. Joy, I'll say what I always say. <laughs> so, this is my final look. <laughs> so, this is my final look. I told you guys, simple cash day. So, let's go, baby. <laughs> Guys, I just got back home. It was a fulfilling dinner session. It turned to a J session with my friends, hot gossip catch up. <laughs> and the food was a 10 as always. We've been going there. I have been going there for the past few years. And the food it always hits the spot. Just that you have to be there early so you can actually get the catch you want. My favorite thing there is typically the crab, the Chinese style crab. That's like a 10 always. 
it's um the same building as Chirascos, Rococo, if you guys know it, like the water side. So you guys can go there, it's quite nice. So I'm home now and I want to wash my face, shower and crash and probably have like a catch up session with Lebu before I sleep. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to end this vlog here. I know it wasn't long enough, but guys, I am trying. This is actually more difficult than it looks. But yeah, so I'm trying to do more longer <laughs> vlogs. But like I said, my next video should be a sit down Q&A session. So please, please, please do not forget to drop your questions down below. Yes, I'll be answering your questions, make them fun, I guess. But you can ask me whatever you want to. If I'm in a good mood, <laughs> I'll answer even the difficult ones. So please don't forget to, please, I'm begging, drop your questions in the comment section and I will be answering them in my new videos, my next video. So that should be fun. And don't forget to share, subscribe, like, just for encouragement, you know? <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video when I'll be telling Bearings all. I, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, see you, bye. See, all of you that when your help or nanny go to the village, you'll be scared that they will not come back. <laughs> see what my own brought back for me. See, a bag of Gary. Um, abacha. If you know me, you know I love abacha. And plantains will last me at least three months with palm oil. Hmm? So I guess if you treat them well, they'll come back with gifts. <laughs> we love to see it.